guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 7 and 8 of Blue Locks. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Wait, take 2, and 3, 2, 1, go. There we go. <laughs> you girl, I thought she pressed the play button, but no. I've been thinking about this all ever since last week. Once again, I'm full bad for other guys playing chickenies. Oh, brushes. Oh, my God. Uh, it just hurts. I, between that and what's-his-face selling them out last week, which was so fucked up. Because I'm thinking, like, oh, my God. No one's going to be, you know, like, fucked up being like, yeah, I want to sell my friends out or my team out. In order for me to win, <laughs> but you know, I gotta think about it like Dong and Ropa standards. But like, yes, I will do that in order to graduate and such. So like, oh god, oh. Hey, <laughs> right? oh my god, we're not gonna, <laughs> we're not gonna, you know, end someone's life due to a secret, right? <laughs> Oh, my God, oh, shit. I'm sorry, I hate when I get that line after, like, above my lips. It looks so weird. God, and I, I really liked him. Ugh. I feel like when he's definitely going to regret this, but it has to be like probably sometime later on in the series. Uh. There has to be something he didn't tell you. How the heck are you gonna win when they have a lot of wealth? Oh, nice block. Come on, please.
And of course, they hated that. Because you two used to be the favorites. It's obvious. I'm guessing this is the moment where everything went downhill for you. Damn. Oh, God. He's still not going to be at the same level. At least he's trying. Do you really want this to end in five more minutes? Do you really want to lose? That's what you love about Isagi. You can just like from the floodgates literally bring back that like love and hope of a sport. It's just so good. That's like he's good as protagonist. Question is, where's Chiggity? It's 
to do with chickadee, right? Oh, come on. Just shut up. Oh, my God. You can't do everything by yourself. I mean, hold up. He ain't have to go that far and push him, but I get it. You don't want your career to end, but damn. Because he's like you. You see yourself. So, that's it. I don't worry. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. No, boom, come on.
That's it. Let's draw. Oh! Oh. <laughs> I got it. So where the hell is Kuhn sleeping though? Yeah, but it's still unfair. You guys only have 10. <laughs> He's so <laughs> <laughs> and seriously, stop.
MVP, MVP. I, I spelled, I said that wrong. Cheaty, he did so good today. I am so proud of him. Like, oh my god, it's just yes. His basic, his biggest hassle was himself, and just the boring of tearing his leg once again and officially ending his soccer career. And I get that because when it when something happens to you for the first time and you're healing from it, and your doctor says. If you do this again or something worse like it, you can kiss this leg goodbye. And so that's when you really kind of start looking at life in a different way. You can't always be like having this fire up on your butt and such. And so I get the reason why Chiggy was so very much guarded and why he didn't really want to go full all out using his acceleration and such. But... Due to our precious baby boy, Isagi, um, being who he is and relighting that fire, of course, Chigiri had no other way but to say yes and to kick ass, and he did great. They all did great. Once again, I feel bad for Kulan because he is being even more desperate um, than he was last week. He's literally trying to do everything in his power just to be the top scorer. And I get it. This is, it, it's, you know, it's one for all, all for one in this situation. But, bruh. It's, he's so cute. Like, I don't Yeah, wouldn't that be better? Because since you have long hair, you look like a girl, but you were just so cute. You're so freaking handsome. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I, I mean, okay, and I get it. As a girl myself, we like to pamper ourselves. There are some guys who like you know, maintaining the skin, their skin beauty. I mean, yeah, their skin maintenance and stuff like that. And just, you know, if he doesn't feel good or look good, you know, he can't perform at his best. I get it. As a girl, I do the exact same thing and such. I am the type of person, like, I, okay, so funny thing is, because as you saw, because I did it while I was recording and stuff, um, I will always put on chapstick, lip gloss, whatever, just to add something to me. And sometimes if my, my lips are really cracked, and I'm like, oh, God, they look ugly <laughs> and such. Um, and then because my cute little ring light, my heart ring light right here, and then the glasses that I wear, I always end up, like, in some weird way, shape, or form, I end up taking a random selfie. And 50 out of 50, it goes on my Snapchat. And then usually after that, it ends up going on my Twitter. And then I will get, like, so many freaking likes and stuff because it's just like, oh, me and my natural habitat before I do something else and such. Um, but it's hilarious. I, I think because we are so into maintaining ourselves and making ourselves look good, yes, you feel bad for people who are like, hey, we just want to have this. We want to do this, but you are taking your sweet behind time. So can you come over here and join us for, like, five seconds and stuff? Like, okay, like, slow your roll. <laughs> but I get it. I 100% I totally get it. But yeah, once again, congratulations to Chiggity for being the MVP today. I am so just happy for him. He is, like, once again, it's super hard to see who Best Boy is. Like I said, I had, like, Chiggy, before I started watching this show, yeah, before I started watching the show, um, he was, like, my first thing. Like, I was seeing TikToks on TikToks on TikToks about him, and then I watched the first two episodes. Then I found Rin, and that, whoa, that, <laughs> that little hole, <laughs> going down that plot hole of Rin, even though he is not officially here yet, but he is fine. And once I went down that little hole, 
I was hooked and I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to continue. And the next thing you know, I was like, okay, either I watch this on my own or I just do a reaction on it and stuff. I said, you know what, screw it. I was like, I end up doing it anyway. So freak it. <laughs> and now here we are. But <laughs> I still feel like we're going to have a long time until we see Rin. I mean, yeah, we only saw his brother in like episode two. So I feel like by 11 or 12, maybe. At least by the halfway point, we should be able to see him. I don't know yet, because you only get to see him in the opening. So, you know, that, that's something, but still, I need more. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode eight. Alrighty, episode eight in three, two, one, go. So you have to win. Yeah. Right? I mean, like, damn. <laughs> of course he did. Oh, of course, of course, duh, duh. I mean, we met them in the previous episode, so of course they'd be the most dangerous. And Nagi. The funny thing is... <laughs> Uh, oh, give me a sec. Okay, so the funny thing is, and I didn't know this until, like, I think... Probably the second episode when I started watching this show. Um, when I was looking at characters and, like, who, what, who, what all seiyus was in this dang show? Because, you know, there's a lot of famous good behind seiyus in this. And so I lived in Nagi, and Nagi, like I said, he's just precious baby boy, and, and I just love him. And I was like, oh, okay. He, his seiyuu kind of looks familiar to me. And I, I was like, I know that face, so where are you from? <laughs> of course, it's fucking Haru from Free, and um, Mateo from Jujutsu Kaisen, and then he played, he played my baby Yuki in the new Fruits Basket. So I was like, oh, okay. Well, and, and this just tells you, once again, you just never know who is going to be an anime. Literally, anyone. That's the same thing with freaking pretty here, because, like, bruh, too much. Because he was bored. Perfect as is. <laughs> What do you mean by treasure? You mean boyfriend? Because that's what I'm getting.
And then Nagi came in. Yeah, that's so messed up. But I get it because he's in high school and such. If he had to fall in love with it more as a kid, but mm. Mm. Not the phone! Until Nagi came in. Y'all seriously still want to have a charging meeting on Kuan? It's still here. I don't think that. No, 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 no. Just because he was an ass to you guys doesn't mean you need to do the same thing to him. It's not going to win out that way. Then you would stay. Bed too. It's <laughs> funny. Now I get why you're like that, because not everybody was as passionate about that as you, and I get that, but still, selling your teammates out to another team is still fucked up. I don't care how you look at it. That's like a cheating move.
That is a desperate move. Which would be cool on. Damn that back though. Oh my god. But the fact is that he just kicked that and scored. Mm.
can also have one. Okay. Let's see. Damn. Mm. Try again. Then you go all out. Everybody is nervous. Well, he can't sleep either. Just about what we be only one. I'm gonna be able to sleep. <laughs> you guys got this.
Yeah, but why do I also feel like they have something else stuck up their butts that they haven't shown? So then he's going to pass the Tanagi. Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh. No, he's going to make that goal. My son is built different. Oh my God, damn. That's one. He cute, but he a little oh oh. He pushes. I, you gotta love him. Like oh my god, but still like mm -mm, to say that in front of those two. I mean, I know I be feeling some type of way. I be like, hold up, y'all need to throw up all the damn cards: red, yellow, purple, blue, green, all of them, cause I'm about to beat the crap out of this kid. Yes, they are definitely boyfriends. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and, and I get it. Like, seriously, for someone who is a... The a freaking... A rich kid to, you know, the a highest person in saying that, you know, your dad is telling you, you will succeed me in anything that you will do, especially as a businessman. But your your dream now is soccer. And both of your parents are kind of against that because the fact is you now want to do this in high school when you should have started this ish when you were like, what, three, four, five. Well, no, four, five, maybe six. As, you know, a young behind kid wanting to say, you know, as a kid, the possibilities are endless and thinking, well, I can do this, this, that, and the third. But I do love the fact that he really, at the end of the day, wanted to prove his parents wrong. I really, you know, I think a lot of us strive with that goal and trying to prove someone wrong, whether it's your friends, your families, your boss, um, whoever and such, when they say something that irritates you and gets really under your skin and you instead of you wanting to be like oh let me smack him in the face because uh, please don't do that though you're you're doing something that makes them look like oh okay i didn't think they were going to do that and such and that's why sometimes you always have to be one step ahead of the game because there's always a game between you and someone else um <laughs> Going back to Nagi, Nagi, once again, adorable, precious little big boy that I would love to protect. But in this situation right now, I'm over here cheering for Team Z.
those are my babies, those are my boys. And I've been with those boys since the beginning, so automatically they have my winning vote as much as I really love Nagi. I am really truly scared about how this outcome for this final match could be like because after this, this will now change everything. This is the one match that, you know, all the other matches that they've quote unquote trained for is now the one that really, in my opinion, truly matters. And after this, I think maybe this is when everyone is kind of now on their own. This is probably maybe after this, they'll be disbanded once again on their own. But if they are in another group or something, Ask, that's when certain team teammates are possibly going to team up with them and that is okay too I really don't know how this is going to go when we get into 9 and 10 next week but other than that guys that is my action view towards episodes 7 and 8 of blue lock if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day enjoy the master squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episodes 10, um, 10 9 and 10 <laughs> But until next time, I will see you. Well, no, I am messing up. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.